All right, so we're going to look at one more limit that you can evaluate using algebraic methods. Uh, in this case, you'll notice that there is a radical, right? There's the square root, which is going to cause trouble for you, right? Um, so we're not quite in the scenario where we're dealing with a polynomial function like we have here, um, but we also know that there is a root rule for limits, so if we want to take the limit of a square root, we know we can do that, so we're fine. All right. Uh, the only issue is that, once again, you find if you try to do a direct substitution, right, square root of 4 is 2. So once again, this is a 0 over 0 type limit, right? It's an indeterminate form. So because we have this 0 over 0 form, we ask whether or not we can do some sort of work to simplify and, and d out an answer. So one of the things that works when you have radicals is you can look to rationalize, right? So when you're trying to get rid of a ra radical in the de denominator like this, you can try multiplying by the uh, conjugate, right? So the conjugate looks like this. It's root x plus 2, okay? But you can't do that on the bottom unless you also do it on the top. So you multiply top and bottom by this conjugate. And you work it out. You say, okay, so what do I have? Well, up top, resist the temptation to multiply this whole thing out. You'll see why in a second. On the bottom, the reason that you multiply by this conjugate is it sets up this difference of squares operation, right? Root x times root x is x. Then I have root x times 2, so 2 root x plus 2 root x, but then I have minus 2 root x, right? So those cancel, right? So the, two, the root x terms, they cancel, and then I just have minus 2 times 2, minus 4. That's the whole point, right? It simplifies down to x minus 4, rationalizing in the sense that we got rid of that square root. Ah, but now, x minus 4, common to both top and bottom, so you can cancel it. And now we just have the limit as x goes to 4 of root x plus 2. Okay. Now we can, if you like, use the sum rule. It's the limit of the square root plus the limit of 2. That's a constant. That's a root function. We have rules for each of those. They more or less boil down to saying that we can do a direct substitution. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, and we have our answer. Uh, now, you're done, but there's one other thing I'll point out before we move on. Um, one of the tricks that some people will use here, there's another way that you could evaluate it. Uh, another trick is to kind of work backwards, right? Notice that here we multiplied those two to get that x minus 4 on the denominator, and then, and then we canceled. Um, some people will realize that, wait a second, that x minus 4 I mean, I know that x doesn't really look like a square, right? It's not a square. But it kind of, in the sense that it's the square of the square root, it sort of is. Um, you can write this as root x minus 2 times root x plus 2, right? And, and so if you're dividing by root x minus 2, Well, once again, you can see that you can cancel those two terms here and here. You're left with the root x plus 2, and you evaluate as before. Um, either approach is fine. You go with whichever one seems more reasonable to you, and you get to where you need to go.